basically, we, we all know that AI is terrible. Yeah, we all know that AI doesn't, you know, yeah. um, to a certain degree, AI doesn't. So it's just spicy autocomplete. It makes mistakes, it hallucinates, it doesn't know anything, it's not intelligent. And really, if you're going to build with AI, you have to better prove it works. And yeah. the way you do this is, and this is, it sounds a bit backwards when you think about it, but the way you do this is you get an AI to test your AI. Step one, AI test your AI. And then step two, you accept a lower pass rate. If you're building an AI chatbot for a bank, you want to make sure that it's not going to say, oh yes, you should buy shares in this because you know financial <laughs> advice is not a good thing for AI to be doing. Yeah. Um, so if you have some kind of test to validate that, you'd want to get, you know, 99% pass rate on that because this is regulatory mm -hmm. requirements. It sounds, it sounds funny though, because you're using a non-deterministic, non-deterministic system to test a non-deterministic system to get a deterministic answer, which is, <laughs> which is. Yeah. So, you know, you're using the AI to test the AI and yeah. it's going to get it right a certain percentage of the time, but there's no guarantee it's going to get it right all the time. So essentially what that means is. There was not no information provided, so the output is probably a hallucination. Assistance answer directly reflects the calculations fully supported by the provided content. So my evaluation has shown that I've now fixed my application.